heard some fish over here. All right, first fish of the day. Yeah. Awesome little fighter too. Yep. Come on, are you serious, man? That was my first one of the freaking day, man. Uh, I'm hooked right there. It's all right, it's all right. We wait for the next one. Oh, little pieces of squeege. That's pretty much the trick, you know? Slow, nice and easy. Nice and easy. What? Well, whatever this is, man, it's new. It's new, it's good. All right, what we got here? Oh, whatever this is, beautiful, gorgeous. Wow, man, colorful, new species for me. Although I have no idea what species this is, but hey, man, if I can't recognize it, it's a good thing. If I can't recognize it, it's a good thing because, you know, it's, it's a new species for sure, yeah. I have no idea what this is, but I will identify later. Awesome, very, very gorgeous. Yeah, let's take a photo with my phone too, for my own purposes. Very, very colorful little fella. Beautiful too, yellow, orange kinda. That, that's what I love about this place, you know? You come to places like this, you catch new types of fish, you know? Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, beautiful. All right, let's release this guy. The, our first fish of the day was actually much bigger than this though. So, you know, <laughs> gotta, gotta have to do a better job than this. You know? That's not for you right now, little fella. Let's go over here then. So there's anything around here? Yeah. Checker puffer. Well, I already got this one, so. All right, all right, take it easy, buddy. Wait, is this a checkered? Or is this a southern? Checkered or southern? Mm. I think this is a southern puffer. Yeah? Checkered or southern? Well, man, doesn't matter. Gotta take a photo of it anyways. Could be a checkered, could be a southern. For all I care, better safe than sorry, right? Yep. Checkered or solder? Yeah, beautiful. Wow, this guy's like a balloon now. Their ability to inflate this big is outrageous. Yeah, look at that like a small balloon yeah oh all right Whew.
tons of puffer. Why is there a lot of puffer? Okay, I'll give a hand. Fish on. What have you got here? Oh well, I already have you. Another one, another one of that type, whatever this is, yeah? Beautiful. I already have this little guy. Once in a while, a giant. Finally, solid. What we got here? This, I don't know. Have I caught this before? Hmm. I'll take it, whatever this is. Sorry for dropping you fish. It wasn't, it wasn't my intention, okay? Whatever that is, man, I'll take it. Beautiful, beautiful vivid colors. Yep. Hooked on top of the mouth. on what we got here nodding oh my goodness why are there so many of this here I mean beautiful yeah beautiful colors and stuff but I want something else oh man I've caught a I've caught too many of these now no yeah Beautiful, beautiful coloration. Yeah, that's new, all right. Yellow. Yeah, all right. That's something new for sure. Orange dot. Well, orange on the tail. Black. I have no idea what this is, but hey. That's why multi-species is fun, you know? Multi-species is fun because anytime you don't know what a fish is, that means you, just, you have just caught something new. So, <laughs> I have no idea what this is, but... I would gladly take it because I've never seen it before. Yeah? Go back where it belongs. Oh, beautiful. Awesome. Awesome because I don't have this one yet. <laughs> yeah. That's like, let me see. This is a species, species number 87. Awesome. Got to be very careful with the shoes, with the spines on top. And below this fish here. All right, there we go. 
Very niche little fish. Yet another new species for me. Yep. Good to go. On, on the cut bait. Yeah, finally something on the cut bait. Awesome. Let's see what is that. Should be a little bit bigger than usual, you know. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Looks like a sea robin. came up well, let's check what type of sea robin this is careful with other border careful with the spikes is this a new species for me I think so well definitely not the same one in Pennsylvania so that's good Take a couple uh, neat photos of this fish for identification purposes later. Really cool sea rocking though. Yeah, let's take a photo of the head just so I can identify it. All right, all good. Let's unhook this fella. Hopefully, this is a new species for me. Hopefully so. Yeah. There we go. Final, final view. Final view of this fish. Very slippery, full of spines. So just gotta be very careful. Beautiful, yeah? Gorgeous. What's up YouTube? Leo Shang here, host of the Extreme Fellow Fishing Channel. Thank you very much for watching part 4 of my Florida fishing trip and welcome to the fish identification guide. So as you guys saw, last day of my trip at Fort Lauderdale, I just decided to go back to the Back Bay Canal and give it another try at the Angling Spear for more species of fish, right? I would have tried new spots in Fort Lauderdale if I really had the time and availability for it. However, since my time was very constrained and I was there for a, actually for a job interview, I just decided to hit the places where I was familiar with, right? And by the way, I was very successful at that. I ended up landing a few extra species, you know? So that was good. Uh, before I start this fish identification guide, I would like to say first uh, the checker puffer and the sailor's grunt they were already covered in part two of my Florida fishing trip right so I am not going to be talking about them here <clears throat> also the permit or the Florida pompano okay in this video I'm actually not even sure myself what is that fish okay I thought it was a permit at the beginning and then some folks told me it is a Florida pompano so you know I, I wasn't able to identify it yet and since I am not able to identify it yet I can't really do uh, you know uh, an identification guide for it okay as a matter of fact if you are an expert in the subject voice your opinion okay let me know in the comment section below what do you think that fish is if it is a permit or a Florida pompano and why okay Anyways, let's get started, this fish identification guide. The first fish that we're going to identify today is the blue striped grunt. So let's take a look at it, shall we? Here we have the blue striped grunt, Haemulon siurus, okay? 
as you guys can see this is a grunt and it makes sense right it is in the Hyamulon genus right the same genus as the sailor's choice right and so on <clears throat> first thing that we need to notice its body okay its body overall is yellow and or orange okay with very beautiful blue horizontal stripes and even you even though you can't see inside its mouth in this photo right if you ever catch one of these just pay attention to the insides of its mouth okay because the insides of its mouth are usually vermilion red okay finally its tail and dorsal fin are extremely dark okay one person on my instagram account actually told me that you know there are some fanatics out there you know fish tank aquarium trade fanatics that love the blue striped grunge okay they would pay a good amount of money to have one just because they are so gorgeous and i agree all right let's take a look at the second fish for today the southern puffer here we go here we have an, a sample of the southern puffer is poeroiges nephilus same genus as you guys can notice right as the checkered puffer is poeroiges just different species and as a matter of fact this fish looks almost identical as the checkered puffer if you notice except for its colors and markings okay so most of the times when identifying fish you know they may look the same but you have to notice the patterns on its body and the you know the colors on its body okay so different than the checker puffer the southern puffer doesn't really have you know leopard like marks on top right instead it has a small circular markings on top and if you notice a little bit below there are big black circles okay just like that you know it, 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 it like i mentioned it was this fish is extremely similar to the checker puffer so people can get confused easily you know but you have to look at the patterns and the colors of the fish actually for every species you know uh, a lot of a lot of people don't like to look at the colors of the fish right because they say colors actually vary a lot but sometimes that turns out to be extremely extremely important okay third species that we're going to identify today is a species that wasn't on the video okay i actually caught it at the back bay canal however i didn't get the video part for it for some reason i probably thought i took it for granted you know and i probably thought oh this is a fish that i have caught before and i just took a photo and released it okay but let's take a look at it all right so here we have the third fish the pink fish lagodon rhomboides okay this is actually my species number 85 according to the video very gorgeous fish <clears throat> small gorgeous fella as you guys can see overall silvery body right with a black dot just behind its operculum and the wonderful thing about this fish in my opinion is that this fish has horizontal and vertical lines okay this fish has horizontal yellow lines okay followed by vertical black bars that are very very dim okay beautiful fish indeed and you know what while we are at it let's take a look at fish number four for today it is actually its cousin okay the spot tail pink fish so here we go here we got the spot tail pink fish diplodus Holbrooki, okay now you may tell me leo but this doesn't look anything like a pinfish right well this is a pinfish indeed okay uh main difference is here the the body the shape of the body right it is kind of oval round shaped the body is overall silvery just like the pinfish however the main characteristic of this fish is actually the black dot that it's close to its caudal fin okay all right let's jump ahead talk about the next fish the next fish is actually a, a very cool fish in my opinion it is the big head sea robin okay let's take a look at it <coughs> excuse me so here we have the big head sea robin okay prionotus tribulus okay very neat fish and as you guys can see 
This is a Sea Robin, all right? It has all the characteristics of a Sea Robin. Spiny points in its head, wing-like pectoral fins, okay? Just like any regular Sea Robin. The main difference, and the main difference about this Sea Robin is to notice that the head is just so much bigger than its body, you know, in comparison. Not to mention, not to mention, that in Florida, you know, if you really catch a sea robin, according to many different books on fishing, it is going to be the big head sea robin, okay? There are many species out there, but according to the books, the most likely sea robin to get pulled, you know, on hook and line, is the big head sea robin. Alright, so we have identified pretty much all the fishes in this video. Apart from that, as you guys know, I also I always include two to three different species in the in the fish identification guide, the species that I haven't caught on camera, right? The reason being that I caught those species at night time, added them to the species list. But however, the GoPro sucks at night time for filming. So we're gonna do the same thing here. Let's take a look at our first new species here that I have caught at night time. Okay, let's take a look at, a look at it now. We got here the Tom Cage. It is the Hymulon Aurolineatum. Okay, as you guys should be very well aware now, it is a Hymulon. Okay, that means according to its genus, it is a grunge. Okay, it is in the same genus as the Blue Stripe Grunge, the Sailor's Choice, the Margage, and so on. The cool thing about this fish is that this is the smallest of the grunts, okay? It only grows to about 6 inches. That's it, okay? So if you don't microfish for this species, you will actually never get the tomtage, okay? It has one yellow stripe that runs from its gill all the way from its gill to its tail. It's smaller horizontal yellow stripes on its body and a black dot that is just barely visible, okay? Close to its caudal fin. And finally, the last fish for today that we're going to identify is going to be the long spined porcupine fish. Let's take a look at it. So here we have a photo of the neatest fish that I caught, you know, at night time in, in Fort Lauderdale, okay? I really, really like this guy. The long spined porcupine fish. Uh, a Diodon holocanthus, okay? Most people are usually afraid of this fish, probably because of the spikes. Particularly, I find it gorgeous, okay? Overall, this fish is kind of pale colored, as you can see, with big brown blotches, okay? And uh, small black dots. But if you notice, the big brown blotches, they actually make a pattern, okay? They start with two, then go to one, then go to two again, and then go to one, one. So the pattern is actually two, one, two, one, one. And every, every one of these long spine porcupine fish actually do have this pattern, okay? So if you catch one and it is a pale fish and it has this pattern with a small black dot, like polka dot style, that's the fish, all right? Anyways, thanks for watching my fish identification guide, as always, you know, uh, I truly hope this has been didactic for you guys, educational at a certain point, you know, I hope you're learning how to properly identify this fish, so if you go there down there one day, hey, who knows, maybe you will be able to see, check the fish and be like, oh, I know what is this, you know, as I've mentioned in previous videos, fish identification is a crucial skill for any angler to have, okay? Part 5 of my Florida fishing trip is coming up in a few days. I really, really wish I could have brought these videos to you guys sooner, but time is really a commodity nowadays. And, uh, you know, my life schedule has been just very hectic here and there, okay? So, thanks again for watching, folks. Uh, tie lines, if you go out there, make sure you dress, you know, good, okay? It's getting chilly now, it is getting windy. I hope you catch a lot of fish if you do that, of course. Tie lines, until next video.